Aziz listens to Berber music on the radio as he drives through the Middle Atlas in Morocco. He's a carpet trader and passionate about his job, with a dream of preserving both the art of weaving and the quality of Berber carpets. Right now he's on his way to a workshop that's more than 150 miles away from his home. I come here whenever I want to order a carpet because there are women here who still know how to weave skillfully. These are new carpets, but they're made in the same way as the old ones. The quality depends on the wool and the number of knots. There are more than 70 village women working here, each earning 15 euros per square meter. Fatma picked up the trade from her mother. I created the rugs from old patterns that represent things like an ear of barley, a lion's paw or a snake shedding its skin. I work completely from memory. The women weave patterns that represent issues that are important to them, like birth, superstition and sexuality. Aziz learned to appreciate the beauty of each piece from his father, who was an avid trader. I learned the trade when I was young, at a time when we only worked with antique carpets. Sometimes I show antique carpets to the women so that they don't forget what the quality of work was like before. But I can't tell a woman who weaves to draw this or that. The ideas spring from their imagination, and that's why a rug is a work of art. But it's an art that is dying out, as Moroccan markets are flooded with mass-produced carpets and the skills are no longer passed down from mother to daughter. Aziz has accumulated carpets in his home that are almost impossible to replicate today. This is a handbell of the Beni Magil tribe. To make a carpet like this, the women need to have a lot of patience because they need to go and get the plants to make these dyes, and they don't do this anymore. If we wanted to make pieces like this, they would be too expensive to sell. It makes me very sad, but I hope that we do find a solution. As the day comes to an end, Aziz is excited to show his father his latest discoveries. Even though he's now blind, Aziz's father can recognize the origin and quality of a carpet just by touching it. Both of them are eager to save this ancient art and part of their country's heritage from extinction.